Saturday the 29th of October 2022 and today we are back to the International Stadium it is Gateshead versus Solihull Millers in the National League So here I'm in Gateshead and uh, as you can see I ended up getting a bus up here today and I'll tell you why uh, it wouldn't be a Gateshead video if I didn't have around about the public transport anymore would it? Um, but what happened today was I was at uh, the train station, uh, the train said it was going to be delayed by about 10 minutes or so, uh, frustrating but not the end of the world but anyway it pulled in uh, it's just sped past absolutely everyone uh, you were thinking at that point oh they're gonna they're gonna join up with another train and sort of make a bigger one uh, but then it turned out it just went away and away and away it never came back uh, then uh, they soon announced uh, that they'd cancelled it and uh, didn't really give any explanation as to why uh, so yeah, uh, that is me done with the trains now. I'm going to start getting the X10 up here, which uh, wasn't too bad, actually. Uh, but anyway, uh, going to the football this afternoon, uh, I think we're going to have our work cut out, if I'm totally honest with you. Uh, Solly Hull currently third in the league in great form just now. Uh, and uh, what is even more frustrating is, uh, like us, up until a couple of weeks ago, they couldn't be a clean sheet for loving the money but now they've had three in a row so uh, yeah they're obviously now starting to get it right defensively uh, obviously they've got a very experienced manager in Neil Hardley uh, we're coming into it in uh, 22nd place after that extremely disappointing loss at Scunthorpe the other night and this afternoon uh, Owen Bailey is still out uh, with his uh, head injury from last weekend's game against Woking and as well uh, Greg Ollie is going to be suspended today as a result of picking up five yellow cards but uh, some good news on the injury front that uh, Kenton Richardson is back today and as well uh, there could be a first appearance for Lewis Knight who's had quite a lot of injury layoffs since he joined the club in the summer from Notts County um, so it'll be interesting to see if he gets any game time today obviously uh, it's a bit different with him because he's not really played in a game situation for quite a long time but uh, you never know the, this is the sort of game where historically uh, we maybe have shown up like I've often compared us to what Middlesbrough and Blackburn were like in the Premier League in, in like the early to mid 2000s where they'd uh, but I'd never really show up again in games against sides there the, the, against sides that are in around them in the table but when they played some of the bigger clubs that are expected to be up there they'd often put on a show and get a result so uh, fingers crossed that can be the case for us today um, obviously uh, we're, we're held Notts County here we're held Boreham Wood here um, so and as well weren't disastrous at the way of X and I know we lost but still uh, so yeah it's going to be a very interesting game this today let's head to the international stadium to find out where it all unfolds so the team's warming up for Solihull getting ready just down there looks as though they're going to be 
at a train strip this afternoon, usually they're playing yellow, but it looks like so they could be in red this afternoon. Uh, as for Gateshead, we're getting ready just down here, of course going to be in the hot strip. Time gates at one solid home is nil. I don't know how, but it is. Um, it's uh, honestly, I cannot remember us ever having that much luck in one half of football. I mean, it was an absolute calamity of an own goal. I mean, I only got it rolling into the back of the net, but um, basically, uh, Solly Hill players played it back to his keeper. He's uh, put his, bot his foot over the ball and it's just rolled over and uh, uh, sped off into the uh, bottom corner. Uh, it's absolute calamity moment for him and uh, yeah and as well Liv obviously hit the woodwork three times uh, he's sitting there you're wondering is it either going to be eventually something's going to have to give or is it going to be a case of when it's your day it really is your day um, we'll soon find out uh, but uh, yeah uh, like I mean you can see the threat Solihull have and uh, you can guarantee that they'll uh, they'll not give up on it uh, it's just Never know if, if we get two in a lot that might knock the momentum out of them, but uh, yeah, the very little in the way of uh, chances for us. So it'd be interesting to see if, uh, what, if any, changes we make in the second half. Uh, do we look to uh, try and see it out like this, which is an extremely dangerous thing to do, or do we uh, try and go for it a bit more than maybe bring Aaron Martin on, possibly even Lewis Knight, and uh, see if we can. Uh, get a second goal. Um, I mean, it's going to be an, an interesting second half. Uh, see, Solly will be uh, the more it goes on, the more Solly will will uh, will have to start taking more risks. So, uh, so yeah, uh, interesting half. Oh, Come on! 
Seven minutes of added time at the end of this game. Time Gates had one, Solihull Moors won. Uh, good we couldn't get the win because uh, the effort levels, the endeavour uh, were absolutely outstanding today. But uh, I think, on reflection of the game, I think a draw was probably about right. And uh, ultimately, it came down to two goalkeeping errors eventually. Um, weirdly enough, uh, we scored our goal in the first half. The uh, Solihull were probably the better team in the first half. Uh, Solihull scored their goal in the second half, and I thought we perked up a bit more in the second half. Uh, strange old game, but uh, got to take the positives out of the overall display. Today, I mean, uh, we, yeah, we maybe wasted one or two chances, but uh, that's just the sheer step up that, that we faced. I mean, uh, some of those last year where we were clean through, we go, we go on and score, but this year, obviously, uh, we're up against better defenders, etc. Um, like it's a bit more difficult to come by, but uh, as I say, if we take these positives forward and uh, can apply some of the things we did right today in other matches, then uh, hopefully before long uh, a few more wins are going to come. Uh, I mean, it's going to be very difficult. Um, obviously, as we're, as we're finding out, it's a very inconsistent league that's now not county. Bournemouth and Solihull now that are all expected to be up there by the end of the season and come to the international stadium and not won so uh, yeah uh, it's just frustrating a bit because uh, obviously uh, I think what I was most annoyed about after the walking game and the uh, Scunthorpe game is that I know damn fine that we can do better and uh, we showed it there uh, I mean don't get me wrong I think uh, one or two players slowly coming back from injury is helping. I think uh, you could see how much sort of more confident we were defensively today with uh, Kent Richardson back in the side. I thought he was absolutely terrific today. Um, and I've got to say, uh, but for the uh, error that led to the goal, I thought uh, defensively we did play pretty well today. Um, I think overall we played okay. Um, it's just. As I say, a bit disappointing that we couldn't hold out, but uh, but no time to wallow in it. We've just got to dust ourselves down and move on to what is a very difficult week coming up. Uh, firstly, away to Chesterfield, then uh, next Saturday at home to Stevenage in the Cup. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I may go to bed tonight relatively hate free. But that is that for this video, and I'll be back on Tuesday night with that Chesterfield versus Gateshead game. So until then, take care and I'll see you later.